What is going on YouTube? Welcome back guys to the channel. Episode number 20 of the bulking series. Today I'm gonna to be taking you guys through my very high calorie, cheap, easy bulking diet to make gains. All you skinny guys out there who are bulking this winter, you guys wanna gain some muscle, some size, got you guys covered, stick around. This is gonna be a fire video, tons of food. Let's get started with the day. So first things first, after I wake up, I like to hit my body with some protein. Generally speaking, if you have slept for eight to 10 hours, your body is going to have been in a fast. And if you're trying to gain muscle, you don't wanna be fasting from protein for any more than eight hours really. So first meal, I always prioritize some protein. All right guys, so meal number one is prepared. I've got one banana, so I have some fruit and I don't die. I've got some pre-cooked chicken breast. This is like 150 grams of chicken. And then I've got five lightly salted rice cakes with peanut butter and jelly spread on top. If you guys were wondering, the way I measure like jam, peanut butter, anything I spread onto food, is I just measure the weight of the entire tub, like with the actual plastic on the actual tub as well. I just put that on a scale. Then I spread all my peanut butter on, every everything that I need, and then I take that same tub, I put it back on the scale and I just subtract the difference. So I figured out I had like 21 grams of peanut butter or something like 40 grams of jam. Yeah, that's meal one. Total calories and macros are gonna be somewhere up on the screen. Let's eat. All right guys, it's been about two hours since I had my first meal. I have meal number two here. Now this is chicken and potatoes with some beans. This is basically low calorie meal. It's about 500 calories, I'm roughly estimating that. Uh, it's 130 grams of potatoes and about 150 grams of chicken thighs cooked in some olive oil and stuff. Total calories and macros for that are gonna be up on the screen. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this meal and this is gonna be my pre-workout meal before the gym. Okay guys, so finished up meal two. I'm now ready to go to the gym. I always like to have about two to three meals before I hit my workouts. I just have better energy levels. The pump is better. Everything just generally for me feels better with two or three meals at least. So I'm now gonna be mixing up my pre-workout and this is like quite the concoction. So I'm gonna show you guys everything I'm taking. First, blackberry lemonade, Gorilla Mode Nitric. This is going to improve vasodilation, meaning it's going to widen our blood vessels and it's gonna help us develop a better pump in the gym. So we're gonna do one big scoop of the Gorilla Mode Nitric. Next, I'm gonna do one scoop of the Gorilla Mode Hydration. This is also called a hyperhydration formula. This is basically a concentrated form of glycerol powder. And I do one scoop. This hyperhydrates the muscles and gives you a very, very good pump in the gym. If you combine this with Gorilla Mode Nitric, it is next level. And lastly, I have some beta alanine. This stuff is not for the faint of heart. Basically gives you crazy tingles under your skin. I like to do one good scoop like that much. And I put this right into my pre-workout. This basically keeps you kind of antsy, keeps you moving in the gym, and it prevents me from getting lazy. Now I'm going to take my little shaker here, my frother, sorry, not my shaker. And we're going to mix this up. And there we go with the pre-workout, guys. Cheers. Now I gotta get ready and get dressed for the gym. Gonna go with a Young LA Wife Lover as the base. That's gonna make us look jacked in the gym. Then I'm also gonna go with these Young LA Anthem Joggers. And just like that, we've got our gym fit. You know, I think it's really important to have that mental feeling before you go to the gym as if you're gonna perform your best. And I feel like dressing well, taking pre-workout, even if it doesn't actually necessarily directly make you better, the mental benefit it adds, for me at least, is huge. Like getting a good outfit on where you feel confident, getting some good pre-workout in your system, it all just sets you up for having a great workout. And for those of you guys who don't know my code, Lee, when you guys use that, it actually directly supports me as a creator. So 
it really helps me when you guys put that three letter word in at checkout a lot more than you guys actually know. And I really do appreciate it. We got to wrap up here. It's a little bit rainy today. So I'm gonna be wearing this jacket to the gym so I'm not soaked by the time I get there. We're just gonna go hit this, hit this session. I'll probably see you guys there. I don't think I'm gonna bring you with if it's raining. I'll check in with you guys there. Boom, all right, we're here guys. The plan for today, I think I'm gonna do some shoulders and arms. I have about 45 minutes to lift, so nothing too crazy, but I do wanna get a good workout in, so I'm gonna do some heavy compounds at the beginning and then probably taper off towards the end doing some triceps, maybe some biceps, but we'll just see how we go. So let's get started. So being completely upfront and honest with you guys, one of the things I'm most insecure about with my physique is how my arms look when they're outstretched. So you guys will see when I'm like shoulder pressing and you look at me from a distance, you might not think it, but the way I see it, my arms look really skinny when I'm actually like doing a shoulder press, like during the movement, my arms just look like twigs to me. And so a lot of the guys you'll see who have really huge shoulder presses oftentimes seem to have like a thicker arm and forearm ratio. So I've really been trying to work on bulking up my arms to where they look better doing that type of exercise. And shoulder press is supposed to help that. So that's why I've been prioritizing it. My goal is to do two more really intense sets on the shoulder press. And then after that, I'm gonna leave it for all like front delt pressing movements and I'm gonna move on to some side delts. I might do some dips or something, but I really wanna put most of my energy into just these three sets on shoulder press. Judging by my face when I'm doing that set, I'm sure you guys can tell how hard I'm pushing. Generally speaking, if you guys aren't kind of like wincing and making kind of an ugly face at the end of your sets, you might not be pushing yourself hard enough. Like to a certain extent, don't be dramatic about it, but like if you're really, really, really feeling it on a hard exercise, it'll be super difficult to keep a straight face. So if you can find yourself just casually doing this and then being done, might be time to up the weight. Smoke, breathe me in 
I've been loving doing my lateral raises single arm. I get like a way better mind to muscle connection. If you guys don't understand about the benefits of a mind to muscle connection, it's basically a measurement of how strong you can actually feel your muscle working. And they say when you have a strong mind to muscle connection, you're able to better isolate and target the muscle you're trying to work on with an exercise. So for example, if you guys have ever done like a back exercise, but you feel it all in your arms and you can't really get your back to like actually burn doing the movement, that would be an example of having a weak mind to muscle connection with your back. So for this specific exercise, I get a good connection with my shoulders. So that's why I like to do them. All right, I'm done with side raises. At this point, I'm gonna do some triceps and I'm gonna superset rear delts while I do these. So I'm gonna do one set of triceps and then as soon as I'm done, zero rest, I'm gonna go over to the rear delt fly machine and do rear delts. Because the triceps and the rear delts don't involve one another in the same exercise, like they're completely different muscles, I'm not gonna use my rear delts doing triceps. I can actually superset them and basically see almost a zero net loss in effort in those sets. You never want to superset muscles where you're using your chest in both exercises in the superset, for example, but because triceps and rear delts are different entirely, I'm going to do them as a superset. Alright guys, so here's the plan. We just finished up with the workout. It's currently like 9.05 p.m. I need some food from the grocery store, so I'm just gonna stop there on my way home. I don't think it's raining right now, but I don't really wanna risk it, so I'll probably just meet you guys there. A few moments later. All right, secret, top mission, top secret mission update. We're in the grocery store. I have a couple small things that I need. So I'm just gonna sneak around in here and find what I gotta get. And I'll try to show you guys. First thing I'm gonna get is some frozen fruit. I'm looking for mango. If they don't have it, I will go into a deep and dark depression. <gasps> they have it. Two bags, I'm gonna stock up. You know what, screw it. I'm getting four. I'm just taking it all. Next, I'm gonna get one of these bad boys. Is soda super good for you? No. Is it gonna kill you if most of your diet is healthy? Absolutely not. And it's zero sugar, guys. Don't stress it. I'm also gonna grab some freshly squeezed orange juice. If you're buying orange juice from Concentrate, I really don't trust you as a person. I mean, it's like freshly squeezed or nothing, in my opinion. These cookies, the custard creams, are like my cheat code. They have 600 calories in a pack, and so if I'm behind on calories at the end of the day, I just have a pack of these with a cup of tea and they go down really easy. All right, I'm gonna go check out, pay for all the stuff I got, and I'll see you guys back at the house for meal three. All right guys, so we're back from the store. Post-workout meal, I've got this packet of Southern Fried Chicken Tenders. In here we've got 186 calories per 100 gram and there's 300 grams. So you're looking at about, what is that? 550 calories. And then you're also gonna get 
I think 51 grams of protein and 550 calories just for this pack alone. So that's really good. For the carbs, for this specific meal, I'm gonna do a very fast digesting source of carbohydrates. If you guys didn't know, after your workout, your body is very insulin sensitive. Resistance training increases your insulin sensitivity. And in that point of time, you wanna capitalize on getting some fast digesting carbs to replenish your glycogen, help your muscles recover. So I'm gonna do some orange juice, some fruit, and a bit of oatmeal, all mixed together in a smoothie for a super high carb drink with my chicken and then all together that's gonna be around 900 to a thousand calories. I got my oven preheated that's nice and hot. Chicken will be done in about 20 minutes so in the meantime I'm gonna make my smoothie. All right guys so smoothie time I'm gonna pop the blender on top of the scale I'm shooting for about 60 grams of oatmeal. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. We'll do a little bit more. Okay, we got 60 grams of oats, 350 grams of mango, and then I'm gonna do about 450 milliliters of orange juice. I'm also gonna throw one more banana in there. Okay, done. All right, last second, I actually wanna add some peanut butter to this meal. I'm just gonna put like one spoon in to like bump up the calories of the smoothie. All right, that's 30 grams of peanut butter. You got in the smoothie, now I'm gonna blend this up. All right guys, so I got this smoothie here. You can see this is only 32 ounces or approximately four cups of liquid. That's like 500 or 650 milliliters. And this comes out to 913 calories just in this blender, 149 carb, 18 fat, so not a lot of fat, and then 19 protein. It's kind of crazy. Like you don't want a super high fat meal post-workout because it slows the digestive process. So this is literally just 150 grams of carbs instantly. I can just chug this down with the meal and it's just pure protein, pure carbs, and it tastes delicious. Like, I promise you guys, if you make this, you won't be disappointed. All right, you guys, so here we have meal number three. This is the post-workout meal. Or would you believe me if I told you that this little bowl of chicken with some hot sauce and this smoothie all together is 1,000. 471 calories. In total, this meal has 200 grams of carbohydrates, 71 grams of protein, only 34 fat, and we're looking at 1,500 calories, you guys. I even made this little hot honey dip. Now, I'm not gonna track this. This would have a little bit of extra carbs, but it's just a mixture of hot sauce and honey that I microwaved for like 10 seconds. Mm. Smoothie. So good. So excited to eat this food, you guys. Again, total calories and macros are gonna be somewhere up on the screen, but without further ado, let's eat. Yo guys, check this out. So I just finished that meal, but I wanted to briefly show you guys these new jackets called the Champions Club Jackets that Young LA is dropping on the 31st. Look at that. Attention to detail is crazy. You got all these crazy fitness brands. You got Gorilla Mine, my supplement sponsor. You got Rise, Chris Bumstead's clothing brand, Anaka Power. Look at the back too. Just like next level, so sick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are limited edition, meaning they're never coming back once they sell out. So if you guys wanna get your hands on a piece of history, these are pretty tough. But yeah guys, October 31st, Codely, save the day, get ready for these. Alrighty guys, current time is 12, 26 p.m. So it's starting to get pretty late. I have one more meal left, maybe a snack on top of that. So like maybe two meals. And um, yeah, I'm feeling hungry enough to eat right now. So I'm gonna cook it up. Let's do this. You got two 20% fat beef burgers. Calories on these are crazy. Just listen to this. Per 100 grams, 299 calories. 28 protein, so there's 19 grams of, of fat per 100 grams, meaning these are 19% beef fat. If you guys get a slightly fattier percent beef, it's just so much more delicious, way easier to eat. So I'm gonna do two of these. There's six total patties for uh, 852 grams. 
Let me do the math on that. So 852 grams divided by six is 142 grams. That means that each burger is 142 grams. So if we do that times two, that gives us 284 grams for the two burgers, meaning we get 850 calories for the remaining beef that is in this packet. That is insane. All right, this meal doesn't look that pretty. Look, that's the reality of bulking. Sometimes the meals you're gonna have to eat are just not gonna be that enjoyable, but you know, it's worth it for the gains. So I got some Frank's Red Hot here. You guys don't know, this is the goat hot sauce, zero calories. I put this on literally everything. Spread that on my beef. And then I'm also gonna make myself a little beverage with this to help it go down. Cherry Coke Zero. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this meal. The total calories and macros for this specific bowl of beef are gonna be on the screen. It's about 850 calories. And then we're probably gonna do a little bit more food after this. So let's dig in. All right guys, so I just made myself a cup of tea. Finished my beef about 30 minutes ago, and now I have the secret weapon, custard creams. So these are basically like vanilla Oreos, if you guys have ever had that, the white Oreos. I'll show you guys what they look like, but they just come in these little packs, and each little packet is 120 calories. There's five of them in here, that's gonna be 600 calories. And I'll just dip these in the tea, take this down, no problem. And that's gonna be like 600 extra calories added up to the daily total. I'm gonna put up the total calories and macros for these right here. All right guys, so this is what I do. I get my tea here, I go for a dip like that, and then I just eat it. That's easy money. And it's scientific research, scientific evidence that all calories from cookies go directly to the biceps. All right guys, so I've completed all of my meals for the day. I wanna quickly go over everything. So meal one, we had 645 calories for breakfast. Meal two, we did 441 calories. That was like a light dinner pre-workout meal. Meal three was a very high calorie post-workout meal. That was 1500 calories. Meal four was 850 calories. And then meal five was more of a snack and that was 600 calories. The total macros, carbs, fats, and proteins, as well as calories for the day are 368 grams of carbs, 143 grams of fat, and 221 grams of protein. We also managed to hit 4,007 calories on the head. So that was a super high calorie day of eating. Now, do I eat 4,000 calories every single day consistently? No. Do I try to hit at least 3,500? Every day, yes, I do. For me personally, if I kind of adjust my calories by a couple hundred on varying days, depending on my activity level, for example, if I got like 20,000 steps one day, I might need to add in an extra three or 400 calories. Whereas on another day, if I didn't get any steps and I got like a couple thousand, doing something like 3,500 would still accomplish the same thing. So yeah, guys, overall, just make sure you're being consistent with your week and calories. Like if you guys are eating the same amount of calories at the end of the week, it doesn't really matter how you get there as long as it's not like crazy fluctuations every day. Remember the key to gaining weight on your bulk is being in a consistent calorie surplus for multiple months at a time. You're not just gonna gain 30 pounds overnight. It just doesn't work like that, especially if you're natural and especially if you're a skinny guy. So give it time, you guys. Let it build. Weeks after weeks after weeks of consistency, you will start to notice gains, I promise you. Just trust the process. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. I hope you've all enjoyed. If you did, smash that subscribe button and the like button too. And stay tuned until the next video. I'll see you guys then.